Hey, this is Alex from uh, Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. We're here with a very special guest, Eric Dregney. He's come all the way from Minnesota, and uh, he's here to talk about his books, himself, and uh, all the scooter funness. So, um, yeah, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. A lot of these people probably don't know who you are. I've known you for, well, I've known you, this is the first time we've met. Five minutes, ten yeah, minutes Yeah, right, now. exactly. <laughs> but I've known your works for years, like, yeah. So, tell us about yourself. <laughs> well, related to scooters, like how I got into it, I lived over, I was a, an exchange student over in Italy um, when what, I was 17. Yeah. Uh, so it would be 1986. Not to date you, but. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> 1986, around. Yeah, okay. um, and yeah, so then all of my classmates there would have these little Vespas and yeah. a couple, you know, maybe an old Lambretta thrown yeah. in there. And you just meet out in the piazza, and that's what you do. You just hang out, and it's like it also doubles as a bench, and so you right, all right. of a sudden have a little area to meet and hang out. And you know, some people play cards on the scooter bench, and that's cool. just what you do. And then coming back to Minnesota, like I gotta find one. I have to get one yeah, of these, right. you know. And then so then it's all these barn Vespas and barn right. Lambrettas, right? right? So finding these ones, and then. My brother and I found these two old Lambrettas. His was 1957, an LD, and mine was an LI, 125. Uh, and then just, where do you find the parts? And that was West Coast Lambretta, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, there. right. Okay. So, I yeah. mean, they saved us, but it's all, that was all mail order and like getting their little right. catalog and all that this was, kind of that stuff. That was Vince back then, yeah. Yeah, right, uh -huh. right, right, that's cool. Um, so they, yeah, they're what around here, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, Guillermo is the, runs it now, yeah. I yeah. think it's still called West Coast, West Coast Lambretta, though. So. Yeah, so. Um, so. And like dealing with them because otherwise with stuff, you know, with all these things, where do you find this stuff? Yeah, so right. and just learning how to do it, trying to find an old manual, trying to find this stuff. And right. It was tough back then. There wasn't oh. really the internet, really. You couldn't just go on there and <laughs> download a PDF. Yeah. Like, okay. Or, and then, or like, watch a YouTube video. No, nothing. A robot showing you how to do everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were talking, you know, we were looking at your great collection here. Yeah. And then we found a 57 Vespa down. That, I think the engine was seized or it had some issues. Yeah, but it I mean, was probably locked. Was it actually the Vespa, like the VL? Probably been a VL three or something. Probably. Yeah, I don't remember. Or the Allstate. It was Allstate. No, it was, a, it was, it was a, Vespa. an actual okay. Vespa. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so the real, you know, rotund ones. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. And so I brought that back up, and I was going to fix that up too. But then I sold that to a friend of mine, Steve Jacobs, and he was okay. he fixed it up. You know. Dip the whole body the whole thing perfectly, yeah, right. and he had it out in a friend's barn out in the suburb. You know, they fixed it all up, and yeah. all set to go the next day. Right. And what's that smell? The barn burned down wow. with it in it. So they had a what? photo, oh and I was, actually I wanted the photo. I was like trying to find it the other day, and yeah. like don't have it. But we have a photo of the perfectly restored Vespa right. from '57 burning in oh, there. So, oh man, yeah. that's too bad. That actually happened with a Scooterville a long time ago. Scott Chain. Like his shop had burned down, and they lost a ton of bikes and some some pretty rad rare bikes too. So yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. It's so, but you still have a little collection of bikes, right? Or you? Um, actually, no. So my Lambretta between, that yeah, I fixed up and now. drove all over the place, yeah. I sold it so I could move to Italy. Yeah. Okay. All so right. then I lived over in Italy for in Modena for three years. That's and, cool. Right. Yeah. And then there, I got into all these single speed bicycles that they have. Oh, yeah, these right. old, Those you know, cool. yeah. Umberto Day. Oh, and they have amazing young. bicycles. Like, yeah. yeah. I think the scooters are nice. You should see the bicycles they do. Yeah. yeah. Right. Everything's. So cool. then try to stay in shape, you know. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> as That's much cool. as possible. Yeah. And so you speak fluent Italian and everything, probably then. Yeah. In the yeah. summer, so I lived over there. My wife and I lived over there and then speak Italian with my kids. Yeah. Right. Um, and then in the summer, I do this uh, Italian camp. Yeah. Oh, right. Up in cool. northern Minnesota. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I wanted to, you know, with Piaggio, I was, I was like, I should get Piaggio to donate a whole bunch of bikes so then we can, right. like, do a 24 hour right. endurance race around the Full camp. Full experience. Yeah. You're learning Italian and riding a Vespa. Yeah. Learning how to, you know, <laughs> ratchet some walk. of these things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's hear a little Italian for our friends and, you know, friends that watch this worldwide. Uh, <laughs> ciao, buongiorno. Io mi chiamo Eric. There. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, so, the reason you're here, your books. So you've been writing books, what, 93? Uh, was it the first one or? or? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and, uh, so that's, you know, pretty, pretty long time now. And I think you have six scooter books. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah. have a little collection of here. We have most of them here. Yeah, we have yeah. A, almost have the whole set. Uh, this was the first, was this the first one? Yeah, so this was the one my brother and I put together. Because I remember I was fresh out of college. And I was yeah. like, you know, I'm going to write the great American novel. Or I'm going to be right. a playwright. And I'm right. going to just like, you know, Tennessee Williams or whoever. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you know, you want to put together this book on scooters? Because you've, you know, you lived over in Italy. You know all about these Lambrettas and Vespas. And I was like, no, no. I want to write, the, I'm going to be a great author. I'm going to write the, yeah. you know, the next T.S. Eliot or something. Right, right, right. 
And, but then, like, well, OK, I can either do this as my job for a while, or I can work in a coffee shop or something. So I did this, and cool. it was a blast. Because then, I mean, with all of these, I got to go around. You know, I just scrimped and saved to visit all these different scooter museums, oh, yeah. like right. in Utrecht in Netherlands, and right. then Rudesheim in Germany, and cool. Vittoria Tessera down right. in Milan. Exactly. I've been to his place, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a super nice guy. Amazing collection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in a new building now with upstairs, and just, oh, incredible. It's like, everything's there. Yeah, and <laughs> down Piacenza, there was like yeah. one of the Paparinos down yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. And even before the Paparino, there was like the scooter they basically copied for that, mm -hmm. which is incredible. You didn't even know it existed, and you're like, what's this Italian scooter? Oh, that's the one Piaggio copied for. <laughs> the Fiat one? Yeah, too. yeah. Well, actually, it was another brand. I don't remember. Sort of the V also, but not Vespa, obviously. But uh, yeah, and it was built right before the war, which was really bad time. <laughs> yeah, and then everything happened. Yeah, and everything happened, and then, but it's basically like a Paparino. Mm -hmm. Only, only like not be by another company. So, um, this was the first book you wrote. Period. Well, you and you and yeah. your brother wrote this. Yeah, so. yeah, we did it together. Michael, yeah, yeah. Right. So, and yeah. what's funny is now, okay, so then now they're doing a reprint of the Scooter Bible, yeah. and Michael's like, uh, you know, I'm kind of, yeah, I don't. He, because he's all into these other. He gets super focused into all these things. So he's into right. Moto Perilla and Moto, you know, oh, all cool. these other. Well, there's a lot of yeah, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of niche yeah mm -hmm. things out there for sure. Hey, you've written, let's see, did you write a book before this? or this? No, was that the was the book first wrote, book I wrote. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. That's pretty rad. And then I started writing about roadside attractions right after yeah, that. That's right. Yeah. And, and Zambonis. And Zamboni, <laughs> which, you know, they're from Southern California. Yes, right. Yeah, okay. Which is, which is, which is odd. That, uh, yeah. Ice, ice, grape, or ice, yeah, would be made in California. <laughs> yeah, so Frank Zamboni had an outdoor skating yeah. rink. Yeah, right, and, okay. You know, in Paramount. Uh, yeah, the, 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 near Los Angeles. Yeah, right, right. That's and realize that's not a good plan. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, next one was it scooters or was it? Scooters? I think it was this one. Scooters. Yeah. Next yeah, so that was a fun one. And that one was like, okay, we're going to focus on sort of the culture around yeah. it. Yeah. So that was super great to do, and and then getting into all the different collections of everyone everywhere. And then scooter mania was. I have it. And the reason we're here today, the the. The Life of Vespa. This is basically your current book. Uh, you may want to pick up a copy of this very soon because this one has just gone out of print. Yeah, yeah. And correct? I don't, yeah. they decided, oh, so, we're not going to reprint it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, good news though, you do have another book coming. Yeah. So, which will be out. Well, and the other book is, is yeah. it's a, a new version, a new version updated of this. Version of this. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's got a. Mo more content, thicker. Yeah, or? so it's a little more, it's got a couple chapters basically yeah. covering. What, 1990 cool. so, to 2000 and then up to the there. present. That's, yeah. And then trying to, you know, the encyclopedia in the back, try to figure yeah. out all these new models. Right. I mean, you probably know. All, I like, think I have that 45, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all, those, uh, all the new Chinese yeah. bikes and Taiwanese yeah. bikes, like, oh, right. you, how do you even keep track of them? Oh, no, I, they kind of come and go so fast. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. So, so that's cool. So basically, you're going to keep going with the lineage and lineage and just, like, yeah, here's and even yeah all the new because this one kind of concentrates yeah I'm definitely more on vintage although there's a little Honda section and yeah and stuff, but when this was written there wasn't the whole influx of all the bikes no this is kind of before like, the new renaissance the 21st you got the you know the Honda Helix but yeah there's stuff way beyond that now you know yeah so no, that'd be great that'd be really look forward so that's gonna be a pretty big thick book then. yeah it's another I don't know 50 pages 50 or something pages over this yeah right that'd be really cool that's exciting. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good yeah. time to do. Yeah, and um, yeah, so you have the other roadside attraction books you've done. Yeah, um, so and that, that's yeah, obviously been all over the world. You've done food books on food. food stuff yeah, and, well, I live living over in Italy. You kind of right. can't get away yeah, from right, food. Exactly. I mean, because oh, yeah. you know, sure they're all into the scooters and stuff. But if they have a big scooter rally like this, right. you know, what they're going to do? Like, well, how? Are, what's the food going to be? Right. Like, how's the table going to look? Right. You know, what, what kind of wine? We're pizza here later. So yeah, that's from good. In our favorite place, Chicago. Pizza, you're gonna like it. All so right, you being a food connoisseur, you can you can uh, <laughs> yeah, do a little review on it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, actually, before coming down here, I stopped in LA and did this thing at Italy. Oh yeah, okay, um, yeah, oh that's cool. It's actually called it Italy. Italy, oh, like Italy, rad. right? That's pretty rad. And so it's all Italian stuff. Yeah. Um, and in Chicago, there's a bunch of Italy's all around the world now. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's one in Chicago, and with the yeah. the, the scooter club there, we did an event, a big scooter rally with oh, Italy. Cool. Yeah, right. San Diego, I, you need I, an Italy. I know, I know, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can yeah. go for that. Yeah. But it's funny because yeah, scooters, the whole scooter scene and all that. A lot of it does go with like food, and eating, and oh, yeah. socializing, and all yeah. that, and drinking. <laughs> I mean, that all goes together. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things, you know, they talk about it being a, the social appliance, and it's like, right. for especially for women in the beginning, like, to yeah. get out right. of the home, and then, like, the whole family piles on, and yeah, exactly. it's the way you get and out. And you get the kids in the piazza, like you're saying, they're hanging out, playing cards, eating, doing all this yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, it's all part of it, so, yeah. it all kind of comes all back together, so, well, yeah, um, I think we'll wrap it up, any final words, or... Um, just wear your helmet. I don't know. Okay. What do I say? Wear your helmet. <laughs> no, wear you your don't. mask these days. See, but if you, yeah, <laughs> we wear your helmet. That's not really that cool, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Nah, yeah, but yeah. actually, in Italy, they passed a law that you have to wear a helmet, mm -hmm. and people actually obey. Yeah, which is weird for Italy. <laughs> yes, but then they <laughs> unless you go down to Naples, though, they're not yeah. going to. They're, they're not wearing helmets in yeah. Naples, or a lot of them. But then they have all these really cool helmets, right? And right, they do. You know, just oh, these... their helmets are amazing. Like yeah. the Vespa helmets are cool, but then the. Yeah, mo the mo there's uh, several brands out there. It's like incredible. So, yeah. Um, so we'll the do, best we'll thing. We'll do a, a, a book on helmets next. Time. Right. Yeah. You gotta look good. That's <laughs> that's the important thing. That'd be a cool book actually. You could do helmets like from all over, from yeah. all sports and you know all kinds of stuff. That'd be pretty rad actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, thanks you. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was interesting. Uh, pick up some of Eric's books. They're phenomenal. I oh, love it. Uh, some of these are a little hard to get. Some are out of print. But yeah. like I said, the new one's coming. This one you can still pick up, but it, it is going. So, uh, and uh, and look them look them up a little more. So follow you on what Instagram, Facebook. Anywhere. No, none of that. <laughs> I don't do any of the social, social media, media stuff. Media. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I prefer to just so, write books. So just follow him in his books then, <laughs> yeah. his adventures, and look up his other book, what Roadside Attractions. You have a new one that's out pretty recently with that. Yeah, and, and travels. And, uh, never trust travel. a thin cook. I think mm -hmm. is another. Yeah, yeah, about right, Italy. So, yeah. yeah, right. So yeah, but thanks again. Thanks for watching. Check out scooterwest.com. We do have this book. I know up there for sure. And uh, if you're in town in San Diego, stop by Best Motorsport. And thanks again. Bye. Ciao. Bye.